Hello, I am back with another unboxing and today I have NCT Dream. This is their third mini album, We Boom. Um, yeah, let's just get right into it. So, of course, I got my little K-Pop Market 01 freebies that I will go through because they're so cute. I left the plastic on while I was showing the freebies because I originally thought that these stickers were on the plastic, but no, they're actually not. So, ah, anyways, let's just get right into it. So the version names are We and Boom version. We Boom, so simple, I know. Uh, let's just go through the We version first. So here is the front. They look so mature in this uh, comeback, and they definitely did mature. Um, is the track list on here? Oh, no, it's right here. <laughs> I'm like, where's the track list? It's right there in the corner. So small. And let's just get right into the album. Ooh, wow. <laughs> it looks goth. <laughs> okay, so here is the CD. And I'll just take my random things out. Let's get into the photo book. It's like race car, checkered flag, kind of. <laughs> This is like me, the skull, that's me, it's, it's a mood. And I heard that this, well, it's pretty obvious because everyone keeps talking about it, but this album comes with scratch cards. And at first I thought it was going to be like the selfie photo cards that were scratch cards. And I'm like, no, what is SM doing? But no, there's still the normal selfie cards. You just get scratch cards as well. So that's not too bad. And I don't know if I'm going to scratch it. People keep asking me to, so I think I'm going to. Because if it's anything like the Oneus scratch cards, like the Oneus message scratch cards from their first mini, it's really not that bad. I actually just scratched mine like last week. <laughs> I know it's been that long, but um, I really was curious to see who I got. So I think I'm going to scratch it in this video. So I better go get a coin after that I film this. Uh, but anyways, I loved their comeback. Boom. Okay, this is so cute though. <laughs> that little tiger um but yeah i loved their comeback um i think it's one of my favorite songs by them so far it's just i feel like it really suits them like the mature concept although they're supposed to be you know the cute concept which i do love also i just love nct dream in general i think they can pull off the dark concept as well as the cute concept and hey chan killed it this comeback actually i think um it's Jeno's era. His blonde hair is so nice. And actually, he's now my bias. My bias has literally been like every dream member. <laughs> like, I'm so unfaithful when it comes to the dream members. I've literally biased like almost all of the members at one point. <laughs> so yeah, it's currently Jeno. And I know I biased him before. I think he was my bias during um, my first and last era. <laughs> and yeah, it's just changed so much. But he's back to being my bias. And I just, I don't know if I'll continue to bias him because I seem to be very unfaithful but um right now he's my current bias <laughs> oh my gosh it's crazy and I love how there's like crossword puzzle in this <laughs> so cute this photo book is very interesting I think Jenna looks the best I'm not a fan of like Dungeon's hair and same with Jamin's hair it's like they're uh, the the mullet i'm just not a fan of but they still look really really good so yeah and then chanla's like carrot orange hair is not a fave of mine but he still is cute so there are the lyrics oh and i forgot to mention my favorite b-side but stronger is definitely my favorite really really good i enjoyed this album a lot so definitely would recommend listening this crossword puzzle is so cute credit all right so let me get my photo cards so we have the sm ad yeah i'm not going to show it this time just yeah oh this is the scratch card yeah so i i, I think i'm going to scratch it because i'm guessing the the member's picture is here oh my gosh i will scratch it but just wait <laughs> oh and then we get a circle card sm is really liking the circle cards Oh, yay! 
I got Unchin. Yay. He, he was actually my bias before this. Um, he was my bias during um, We Go Up era. <laughs> and I uh, I don't know if he's my second bias or Chunla. I'm just, I really just bias all of them. So pretty much I'm happy with anyone. <laughs> and a photo card. <laughs> oh my gosh. I also got his photo card. This is so pretty. <gasps> Oh my god, it's such a nice card. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Oh, and I love the backs. Oh, <laughs> I love this card so much. Oh my god, he is such a cutie. I love him so much. Oh, and by the way, we're going to talk about his mistreatment in the next version because I'm not happy at all. Not happy. But I just got the, the Nanjin set and I'm very, very happy. But let me just scratch this to see. I will get the Nanjin set if I get his picture in this, but hold on. Okay, I grabbed a dime, so we gonna we gonna scratch this. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh, I don't want to scratch. Okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, <laughs> why am I so hesitant right now? Okay, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> why does this like physically hurt me? It hurts me in all ways. But I'm gonna do it. Oh, <laughs> just just do it. Just do it. Okay. Oh, here we go. <gasps> I'm doing it! I'm doing it. Oh, did I get Jamin? Oh, I did. I got Jamin. This hurts. This really, really hurts. I feel like I'm damaging the card. This hurts so bad. I can't. I can't do this anymore. This really hurts me. Oh my god, it legit says Nana. I am dying. I just I just noticed that now. That is the cutest thing. Okay. Good enough. Anyways, so I got Jamin. Oh, there's still a bit missing on there, but it's not that bad. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> not bad. Um, oh gosh, now I have this mess on my desk. I'm not happy about this. <laughs> now we will go through the boom version. So here it is. <laughs> In the back. The photo cards are right at the front. Who does that? SM does not normally do that. I, uh, I think I, I don't know who I saw actually. Okay, I might have an idea who I got, but I'm not 100% sure, so it'll be kind of a surprise for me. <laughs> what the heck, SM? They don't normally do that. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> okay, so I don't have to remove my cards because they were already at the front. Anyways, so we're going to talk about Runjin's mistreatment by SM staff after one of their performances on one of the music shows. That clip of him lost in the rain, like the staff member, like one of their staff members prioritized herself over him. Like she legit took his umbrella. Well, I don't know if she took his umbrella, but she didn't give him an umbrella. I, I don't know the exact situation. But she basically left him stranded in the rain and didn't tell him where the bus was. And she didn't give him an umbrella either. So he was stuck in the rain and he looked so lost and confused. And my heart just broke when I saw that. He does not deserve that. And this is why I think SM mistreats all of their Chinese artists. Like, are you freaking kidding me? Why would you not tell him where to go? Like, Ugh, it's just, it's so upsetting to see, and he did not deserve that. He never deserves that. No one deserves that. And people were trying to, like, send SM a message by unfollowing their YouTube and, um, or unsubscribing from their YouTube and unfollowing all of their social medias. I don't know if SM's gonna get the point, but something needs to change because the mistreatment amongst SM Chinese artists is getting out of control, and it's, I don't, I just don't know what to do anymore. It's really upsetting. I just thought maybe it would be EXO Chinese member were mistreated, but no, it just seems to be NCTs as well and basically all of SM's Chinese artists. It's so upsetting. If they're going to mistreat their Chinese idols, they just shouldn't have Chinese artists and idols at all. They shouldn't have them because they seem to mistreat them all the time. So I don't, I don't know why they even bother recruiting them. <sighs> I'm just so mad, to be honest. <laughs> um, how cute is Jisung? He literally grew up so much. And you can really see it in this era. His voice has gotten so deep.
These skulls though is a mood. What exactly are they doing? <laughs> when it comes to like new dream members, I wonder if they're gonna go back to their like cuter sound. I'll be happy either way because I love both sounds for NCT. Aww. Lyrics again. All right, hit it. And that was that. So let me get my cards. SM add. Here's the uh, scratch thing. So we'll scratch that later. Let's see who my circle card was. I totally did not see this one. So I'm not sure at all who I got for the scratch card. Oh, I got Jamin again. <laughs> what a cutie. These circle cards, I'm not a fan of, but they're still cute. <laughs> all right. So uh, I might have an idea. I'll say like, if it is who I think it is, I'll say if I'm right or not. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, I got Dungeon again. I thought it was Hechan for a minute. Uh huh. I really did get the Dungeon set for the photo cards. Wow. <laughs> what a cutie. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, okay. I only got Jamin and Dungeon. All right. Um, but let's see who my um scratch card is. Okay, let's scratch this. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh, I got Jisung. Wait, what does his thing say? Sung? That's cute. <laughs> oh, Jisung. Okay, I didn't see the G part. Alright, I think I got it all. So yes, I got Jisung's scratch card. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I think I'm still gonna put them in my photo card binder. Yes, we'll do that. Okay, let me just get this off my desk. So that was my unboxing of NCT Dream Wee Boom. I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Bye.